So in the last couple of days, there have been multiple news outlets reporting that Microsoft has been in talks with GitHub about a possible acquisition. Microsoft is considering buying GitHub. What is my initial reaction to that? Well, I'm leaving GitHub immediately. I'm going, going over to GitLab. I'm going to tell you why. So Microsoft has uh, had recent talks with the folks over at GitHub about purchasing GitHub. Now there are a hundred articles on the web about this right now. I just link. I'm going to link to one of them in the description. I'm going to use ZDNet's uh, article on it, written by Mary Jo Foley. The title of the article: Microsoft has been talking to GitHub about po possible acquisition. Anyway, uh, Mary Jo Foley basically confirms that the companies have had on and off conversations over a number of years, uh, dating back to at least 2015, but apparently the talks have grown very serious in the past few weeks, uh, according to various sources. None of them official, though, but apparently the talks have ramped up in the last few weeks that Microsoft is very serious about purchasing GitHub. Um... Uh, I'm not going to wait around and have all my stuff on GitHub just sitting there when Microsoft purchases GitHub because I, I don't like Microsoft. I don't trust Microsoft. I never will. I remember Microsoft back in the 80s and, and the 90s, the way they treated free software, open source software, some of their monopolistic practices, the way they basically killed off Netscape, uh, I don't. I do not trust the company. I never will. I know. You know. A lot of that is stuff I saw decades ago, especially under the Bill Gates years. But still, I will never use their products. I will never use their services. I will never pay Microsoft a dime of my money. The other thing is, I'm not going to stay on GitHub. Is because Microsoft has a history of buying projects and running them. How Skype looking these days? What about LinkedIn? You guys visit the site LinkedIn lately? How's that looking? Uh, Wonderlist. They bought that. It's pretty much dead. Anybody remember Hotmail before Microsoft bought it 20 years ago? Hotmail used to be a really great webmail service. Now, who uses Hotmail? But there are other reasons why I'm looking to get off of GitHub. Here's uh, my GitHub page. You guys, I often link to my GitHub page, some config files and stuff, you know, when I do my videos. But really, I've been thinking about getting off of GitHub even before all this talk about Microsoft buying them has been circulating in the news. It's because GitHub, it's not really open source. I mean, there's some confusion because they host so many open source projects. That, I mean, they host millions, tens of millions of open, open source projects you know, on their website, but just because they host all those open source projects does not mean GitHub is open source. GitHub, for the most part, is closed source. Everything about the site is closed source. There's nothing open source about GitHub. So I've been looking for something that was a little bit more open, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm moving over to GitLab. So GitLab is mostly open source with a little bit of closed source stuff, uh, certain services, but a lot of their services, a lot of the tools uh, that they use with their repos, uh, the wikis, the issue trackers, all that stuff's open source software. So it's mostly open source with a little closed source software. Uh, nobody's perfect, but it's better than GitHub, which is pretty much all closed source. So I actually, about five minutes ago, I went ahead and created a, an account over here at GitLab and then I opened up a terminal and went ahead and pushed some stuff to a new repo I created, uh, my dot .files repo here. See, Derek Taylor. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just get rid of my GitHub page, go ahead and delete all this stuff. I may you know, leave something in a readme file uh, pointing people that still come to my GitHub repo, pointing them to the GitLab repo. Uh, I'm pretty much going to delete all this stuff, though. Maybe just have some readme files and the repos I've already created at GitHub. But I want nothing to do with GitHub anymore. I don't want to be around when Microsoft takes it over and runs it. Of course, again, this is all 
you know, speculation at this point. Nothing is official. There hasn't been a sale yet. It's just Microsoft, GitHub, apparently are having serious uh, talks about it. As far as a price tag, the last time GitHub was valued uh, was back in 2015. They were valued at over $2, $2 billion. Now, Microsoft, if they're going to purchase GitHub, they're probably going to have to pay above market value. So they're probably going to have to spend you know four billion maybe five billion dollars to purchase github you know that's a very large purchase but you know it's part of microsoft's plan you know microsoft in the news you know has been touting how they love open source projects and in particular git now of course they're not buying git you can't buy git it's an open source project but you can buy you know the largest basically git repository on the internet github so i'm Moving to GitLab, apparently a lot of people are, are jumping ship to, uh, you see a lot of chatter on the internet, people are already looking for other alternatives. The most popular one seems to be GitLab, which is where I'm moving to, but there's a n number of other places uh, you, you guys can host your projects. Uh, but I would probably strongly consider, if you guys are, are hosting on GitHub, get off of it. Before I go, I do want to do a special thanks to my patrons. A.K. Ron, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Matt, Darkwin, Mark, Christian, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B., Stephen Z., Marcus, Interceptor, Bob, Lior, Omar, Silvio, David, Alex, Bruno, Mike, Daniel, Nick, Eduardo, David, Tony, Michael, Tabella. You guys are awesome. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.